Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn With Me. I'm Deborah Hansen, and today we're going to look at AP Psychology 4.6 Motivation. We're going to talk about the key terms that go with this particular section of Unit 4, definitions and examples, to help you prepare for the AP exam or for the unit test, whatever you're studying for right now. But we do know that key terms are super important. They play a key role in getting the five in the exam. So it's super important to memorize them, to know them, and to be able to apply them to different situations. So before we get started, just want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel. And I love it when you hit the like button and when you ask questions, it's really cool for me to interact with you guys and see what you're doing, see what you like, or if you're looking for different content in AP Psychology that you want me to do, I'm happy to do that as well. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to look at a lot of different key terms for 4.6. There are several. So I'm going to give you the definition and an example for each of the key terms. And you do want to write down both because it's not just enough to be able to define it. You have to have an example in your mind so that you can apply it on a question in an MCQ or an FRQ. Okay, let's start with motivation. The definition is the process that initiates, guides, and sustains goal-directed behavior. An example, a student studies hard for a test to achieve a good grade, just what you're doing right now. Drive reduction theory. The definition is motivation arises from the need to maintain homeostasis by reducing psychological drives. For example, drinking water to satisfy thirst and restore balance. Arousal theory. The definition is people are motivated to maintain an optimal level of arousal for best performance. An example, a thrill seeker skydives to reach an ideal level of excitement. Self-determination theory. The definition is motivation is driven by intrinsic, internal, and extrinsic, external factors. For example, painting for personal enjoyment, intrinsic, or for money, extrinsic. Incentive theory. The definition is behavior is motivated by external rewards. For example, a salesperson works harder when they earn a bonus. Instinct theory. The definition is behavior is driven by instincts which are fixed, innate patterns of response. For example, birds migrate seasonally without the learning the behavior. Approach, approach, conflict. This is a conflict where one must choose between two desirable options. For example, deciding between a beach vacation and a mountain retreat. Approach avoidance conflict. The definition is a conflict where one option has both positive and negative aspects. For example, taking a high paying job that requires long hours away from your family. Avoidance avoidance conflict. This is a conflict where one must choose between two undesirable options. For example, deciding between cleaning the garage or mowing the lawn. Both very undesirable. Sensation seeking theory. The definition is motivation stems from a need for a novel or intense experiences. Someone bungee jumping for the thrill of the experience. I will never do that. Experience seeking. The definition is the desire for a new and unusual experiences. The example, traveling to exotic destinations to explore unfamiliar cultures. Thrill adventure seeking. The definition is the desire for exciting and risky activities. For example, engaging in extreme sports like rock climbing or skydiving. Disinhibition. Disinhibition is seeking stimulation through social or impulsive behaviors. For example, spontaneously attending a late night party. Boredom susceptibility. The definition is the tendency to dislike routine and seek variety. For example, frequently changing hobbies to avoid monotony. Ghrelin. This is a hormone that signals hunger to the brain. For example, feeling hungry before lunch due to increased ghrelin levels. Leptin. This is a hormone that signals fullness to the brain. So feeling satisfied after a meal because your leptin levels have risen. Okay, let's go through the list to make sure you have them all. Motivation. Maybe you can get the definition or an example just so you make sure that you know them and just make sure you have them in your cards or your notes, whatever you need. Motivation. Drive reduction theory, arousal theory, self-determination theory, incentive theory, instinct theory, approach, approach, conflict, approach, avoidance, conflict, avoidance, avoidance, conflict, sensation seeking theory, Experience seeking, thrill adventure seeking, 
disinhibition, boredom susceptibility, ghrelin, leptin. So those were the key terms for 4.6 motivation. Hopefully you found those helpful and you wrote them down and you memorized them. Remember, it is the key to the five. If you did find it helpful, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. You'll get notifications when I do put in new content, which I'm going to keep doing. And hopefully um, that helps you to prepare for your unit test or for the final AP exam. Thanks for listening. See you next time.